Hello everybody, this is Garza Gaming here. Welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Mass Rule. Today we're gonna go through the solo mode yet again, and this time we're playing the Absolute Monarch. Uh, so this time we're gonna do things a little bit differently. Um, last video was pretty long, so I'm gonna do the first three parts this time, and I'll do these three parts on the next video. So here we go, getting into it. The Absolute Monarch. In this world, some beings embody the concept of destruction. Their dignified appearance and behavior were like those of monarchs. No one knew for what purpose the monarchs sought the destruction of the world. They wield their paranormal powers and reduce everything in their sight to nothingness. Thunder booms before them and trees turn brittle. They boil in the mountains and crack the earth. They conjure storms and submerge all into unfathomable darkness. The world steeped in turmoil and rage, subsumed by violence. And when there is nothing more to destroy, they move to the next land, searching for further destruction. All that witness this great destruction, shudder and fear, is the fate of any unfortunate enough to be in their path and disappear in an instant. And among the destroyers of this world, there is an alpha. Its overwhelming power of intimidation lays the destroyers prone and it processes untold strength. Erebus, the underworld monarch. Erebus, the underworld monarch, sits on his throne in the darkest of darkness, looking on at the destruction of the world as if it were the most natural thing. I kind of like how they're adding a little bit of story to the. Uh, the lore of these cards, um, you know, the enemy's great and all, but this is kind of like, it's kind of like new and exciting. Um, you know, there's so much lore just in the artwork of the cards and stuff that kind of never really explored. All right, so it's just a tutorial. Uh, so monarchs, if you don't know, you pretty much the main gimmick is tribute summoning the entire time. Draw, please. Alright. Draw an idea. Alright, I kind of get what to do. I've played Monarchs before. Um, actually, it was like the first first deck I ever went to like a locals with one. Um, back when you can just buy three of this structure deck, didn't need an extra deck at all. Just kind of, just kind of win just because your opponent didn't do anything. Alright, so we're going to tribute these two guys, summon Mobius, he's going to allow us to pop these three back row. I wish you could just select all three at the same time. Alright, he's going to activate Embodiment of Apophis, it ain't going to matter, they're still counting the scrap cards when you summon to the field. We're gonna get destroyed, and I'm gonna attack for game because this guy only has 2,000 legs. Alright, battle phase. It was for the tutorial. I didn't realize that some of these were going to be actual tutorials, depending on how long this goes. Maybe I will do the whole thing all at once. Alright, so duel. Look, yeah, I mean, it looks like it's just this duel and then a few other ones, and that's it. I don't know how long it's going to take you to talk, if they're going to keep going with the story, but. Draw a phase. It's weird that they're giving us an extra deck. The whole gimmick of uh, Monarchs was that you didn't have an extra deck and you'd lock your opponent out of theirs. Uh, we're not going to need that right now. Uh, so, alright, so I'm going to activate this so I can get my field spell. Reveal Ether. Um, actually. Is this a mana card? Do I need this? Uh, maybe I'll get Pantheus. Yeah, Pantheus. Uh, 
Um, send one monarch spell or trap to the graveyard. Oh, I can't draw because I use that one here. Um, I can do this, so... Oh, is, I activate this card target one monarch to control with graveyard. Okay, can't use that here. Um, I will just set this guy for now. If he destroys him, I can just... I think I can grab the other guy. Um, what is it? Media. When he's destroyed. Um, I'm gonna activate... Sisters. Which one of these cards affect monster? Um, I'll wait on that. Alright. Can I only use... Now I know you can special summoner during her turn, but it's only during the main phase. Um... During the opponent's main phase, the card's in your main phase. Okay, yeah, so it's, it is only during the main phase. So... Um, not gonna activate it. Um, I'll activate this during his turn. Select, I believe I can make it discard a card from my hand. Um, this, make it light. Now I can be counted as two tributes next turn. Alright, so I'm going to right, summon Aether. Activate her effect. I'm going to send. Do they have the trap card? Yeah. So we're going to send this. And I'm going to send this. And we're going to special summon. There's no prize. Um, it's got a few back rows. We'll be a spec monarch. And then I'm going to activate the effect of Pantheism in the graveyard. I'm going to get... I want to get this. How many of these do I have? Just one, so I'm going to select these all as well. The reason I did that is so I can get... Alright, if they picked Tenacity, I could have just got Return to Monarchs anyways. Alright. Um, I'm gonna go to battle phase. Uh, what is he gonna summon two tokens? Right. Turn that off, that's kind of annoying me. Aether, you get rid of that token for me. Thanks, appreciate it. will come back to my hand due to Aether's effect. Guess that card can attack her. Oh, Sangan, no! Alright. So I'm gonna activate. First things first, I'm gonna activate this trap card so I can special summon it. Um, I don't need this anymore. And then I'm going to activate this. Summon him. Should be summoned to one monster. Um, no, we want to tribute both monsters. We must tribute two monsters for this. Okay. I'm going to tribute his monster. I'm going to tribute my trap card. Erebus will come forth. Um, so we want chain link. Chain link one, this, so it can't get Ash Blossom. Chain link two. Um, I'll send a Pantheism, and I will send. I'm very here for this card. Put that card back. 
cards add from your deck to hand. Um, uh, why not this? I'm gonna go battle phase. Direct attack. Direct attack. Sangen is lit right now. He got nothing. Draw well. Escalation of the Monarchs. Pretty good card. Uh, activate. Uh, first we get Pantheism. Let's see if I get Tenacity. Tenacity. And. Let's get March. Activate Tenathy, reveal Mobius. That'll let me grab another Pantheus. Because I can still use that if I can. Activate Effect. Uh, we'll ditch this, draw two cards. Um, I don't want to get rid of all of his back row. I think it might be worth it just to. Tribute summon to him for one tribute. Um, let's see, I can I think I can chain block if it's a. Yeah, if these were a counter trap card, um, I could potentially. Uh, sorry, I could potentially uh, chain block and activate it to destroy my Mobius. I'll add my Aether. I can always use that during next turn, on this turn. Uh, and then I think I can activate. What does he do in the graveyard then? Once we turn during each player's main phase, this card's in your graveyard, you start one monarch spawn trap, add one monster graveyard. Alright, so I don't need to do that. Um, Alright, he's gonna summon that. Now we'll go right back into the battle phase. Whip out that snake. And then destroy the rest of his life points! Victory. Alright. Alright, loaning that there. Or the Dark Orb from Lock and Lock, Chapters, and so Alright. Then I can get that. It's gonna go into a little cutscene. Cool. The advances of the monarchs who embody the very concept of destruction continue. How many countless worlds must they have destroyed? Lightning storms, blizzards, lava, and seismic catastrophe, all manners of destruction assail the world. As they advance, the monarchs grow even stronger, perpetually pushing the boundaries of destruction. Their power defiles all matter equally. There is no way to discern whether or not the monarchs are aware of what they destroy. They advance thoroughly, expunging all that enters their fields of vision, no matter the sea. However, in a land reduced to rubble from the heavens descended a creator. Aether, the heavenly monarch. A savior descended, as if a miracle to a land awaiting its destruction. Man, our work is pretty clean. I actually never seen that. I think that's from one of the spell cards that I said was trash, but I like that. Whether this creator could be counted as one of the monarchs is unknown. The ground in which the creator has landed slowly begins to revive. A day will surely come when this land regenerated by the creator will be destroyed again. Nonetheless, with no reward, Aether, the heavenly monarch, fills this ruined world with the light of the birth. Alright, complete. And I guess we're gonna get this Monarch deck. Not too bad. Gate clear. Found a new card pack. Uh, I do not want to go to the store right now. What I am gonna do is end this video right now. I think I'm gonna go with my original decision to do these next three duels in another video. Um, if you enjoyed this content, 
please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, look forward to the next one, and that'll be it. GG, everybody.